Hi there, I'm Jimmy Kyo, and welcome back to my All the More Sex to the Skies Lotpad Let's Play. Last episode, we went and basically made the pestles, the very OB pestles, to generate resources for us, like cobblestone, netherrack, and endstone. As you can see right here, I've gotten quite a bit of it already, which is quite wonderful. We will just keep on generating stuff and then we can automate stuff with them as well. But today, I would like to automate resource production because honestly, I uh, keep on doing this manually is honestly quite annoying and I don't really like to do that. And as you can see, between episodes, I collected even more resources. Yes, even more of it. So, to prepare for the things I'm going to do this episode. So, for this episode, I would like to use the auto save to automate resources, which is right here. I'll make the auto save. I'm not going to make the auto heavy save. This is one I do want to make later on, but I can't make that because it requires steel, and I can't. I can't really think of a way to get steel, uh, very early on. At least I haven't found a way yet. You can make steel dust, but that steel requires. Oh wait. Oh wait. I can make that with the metallurgic metallurgic infuser. I've totally forgotten about that. Yeah, I can make steel. It's just that I don't want to skip so many processes quite yet, so I will still use the auto save, which is basically just glass, oak save, iron, and block of iron. Of course, if we want to save things, we also need a hammer, so it's an auto hammer, which is iron, even more iron, and a diamond hammer, which I will make that right now. Where's my diamond set? Here. Diamonds and iron. So two pressure plates, I'll get my hammer, and there's my auto hammer, and I will also need an auto save, so I don't have enough glass though, oops, in that case I'll just get some more glass then. Oh well, yeah I shall get some glass qu quickly. very quickly there we go there we go so while I'm gonna wait for that I'm going to prepare my power source for now and I realized that I shouldn't use this power source so early on I should start with my Magmatic Dynamos that uses lava for generation, which I redesigned, which I made uh, a few more crucibles, and also I made some uranium blocks because uh, uranium is a heat source for it. As you can see right here, there's like different heat sources. Of course, the best one is the superheating element. But in order to make this, we need steel, which I'm not going to make that yet. So, because of that, this is the second best heat source you can see right here 20% times more quicker than using a torch so that's what I'm going to do and I think I'm going to put it right here like behind here and now that I think about it maybe I should get a bit more cobblestone like this should be fine like this, and then my uranium blocks, and my fire crucibles. You can see if I shift right click, you can see heat 20, so that means it smells a lot quicker, and if I put cobblestone in, you can see the smell, the smell is like quite ridiculously quick, we can instantly get a bag of lava so quickly. So that's also good, and now if we want to automate the production of lava, the easiest way to do that is just by getting... Um, well, you, I need to borrow you for this, because as far as I can tell, I don't really need to use you anymore, can't see the reason why I need to use you. So I'm going to borrow you, and put it right here, and of course I need to pipe items into it, so I need to get some pipes, which I will use the pipe mod, the pipe seeds mod. Of course, I can use mechanism, mechanism stuff as well, but, but that requires 
steel, as you know, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use item pipes, fluid pipes, and also uh, I think energy pipes. So that means more iron, redstone, buckets, and droppers. How to make that? Oh, that's simple. I just need redstone, iron, hopefully I do have enough of that, and even more redstone. Wonderful. So there we go. First, there's the energy pipe, and then there's the fluid pipe, and then finally, there's the dropper. One, two, which means item pipes. Yeah, it's a good thing that this made a bit more iron. And of course, before anything, we need to make this thing, which is two flint and two sticks. It's the wrench for the mod, so that we can conflict the things. So now, I just need to connect my item pipes right along here, and then put it like this, and then you can see, it's putting cobblestone in, slowly but surely, and yeah, it's keeping up quite fine. So let me move you forward for the time being. It does store the power, right, if I remove it. Oh, it does, nice. So now, now that I got the lava, I would like a tank, at least a buffer tank, to fill the lava, so I shall make another one. Or maybe I should just borrow you for the time being. You'll just be my buffer tank, I would say. A little bit of a buffer. And I will put you right here, my buffer tank. And then fluid goes here, and then extract all the fluids. Does this tell me about the extract speed? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. But I can put many upgrades in here, like speed upgrades and stuff. So that's good, I guess. And wow, that got filled up with lava so quickly. That's quite nice. And then, next thing to do is that I want to get a pipe into the magmatic dynamo. And I think I'll put my power source right here. So, one, two. Uh, well, that's the wrong direction. I didn't want it to put it in that direction, though. So, let me change a bit of things. Ah, oh well. That should do it. I want them to, like, facing towards me. So, maybe this is the best way. Now that's better. Good. And remove them, and then I need them to have fluid pipes connecting to here. I would like to input it through the back of here, every single one of them. So let me remove the extra ones for now. Good. So if I go extract, you can see all of them are producing power right now, which is actually quite wonderful. And the maximum power you can generate is 40 R per tick. So if I have four of them, I can generate 160 R per tick, uh, which is quite good. And I do know that even though it gets full, it will still continually using the lava. If if energy is being used, no, even if energy is not being used, it will still use it. I think. Yeah, I think it will still use it continuously. So now that's done, I would like to connect them with energy pipes and maybe do that and then extract the power to somewhere else I wonder is, is there a kind of like a power cell I can make to store the power uh, the energy cell from the power mode is one option I think the RF2 mode is also an option or maybe the fluid cell redstone uh, no, I can't make that. That requires cure rubber. Okay, that's all of the question. In that case, the only thing possible, I think, is the dimensional cell from RF2's power. But that isn't very hard. I do have most of the things, except I don't have enough redstone. That is the only problem. Uh, that is quite easy to solve. I just need to do this.
change it back and then just change them all into dust and of course I should get that wand for that to get it done a bit quicker hey uh, is that all already? good there's a gravel and then there's it and then the same of this and I don't think my hammer have yep has enough durability for that so that should do it okay in that case I will just make this quickly make the dust you can see this is quite wonderfully used even though it is doing things quite quickly but it's still very time consuming and if we can automate this and then it will be much easier at least I don't need to continually doing this manually okay so there's our dust and then I just need to compress them one more time and then I can sift them for more redstone I just need 36 so that shouldn't take too long and I think that's already done yes that is already okay Good. so okay so what else do we need we need the machine frame that requires gold iron and blue dye which is totally doable and uh, gold so there is our frame unless I need to make the blue dye there we go and then we need a diamond emerald and two Prisma shards. And there you go. There's our dimensional cell. What this normally does is that it allows you to transfer power like somewhere else. But in in my case, I'm not gonna do that, and I don't think I need a power source anywhere around here, right? Well, just to be safe, I'll just put something here. Just to be safe. So now I can put my power cell right here. And then, oh, I need a power cell card, like that. So I need paper, gold, and redstone. Wait, do I have any sugarcane handy? Do I? Yes, I do have a sugarcane seed. So maybe I should have done that. And maybe I should get a hopper. Maybe I should get a botany pot oven running. Even though, uh, well, it can't be automated yet, but at least I can still manually get the shoe key, right? I can still get that, right? So, is there another way to get make paper, though? Let's see. Oh, okay. Hey, that is actually a much, much better way. I should have done that. Well, I can. I guess I can still make this, though. So, what I'm going to be planning to do is to get a hammer right here. And then, use a hammer and then thing mine and tree and then I think for each like log you can get one sawdust and as you can see from using sawdust we can make paper from that which is absolutely wonderful so it won't take long there we go and that's the last of it Good. So now we can make the paper. A lot of it. Wonderful. And I need more redstone. And also I need four of you guys. Not enough. Not enough. There you go, that's enough. And that should 
do it right. That good. That's our power cell. Absolutely wonderful. And if I press insert, you can see it's starting to store power, and then it can store up to a million power, which is wonderful. This will be our buffer. And then now, with this going on, I can do something else. Yeah, I can do something else. Size input. I wonder, can I change it in the output though? Uh, I don't know. Is there a tool that can decide only one side? I guess this one can do it. Pass it to Rick. Uh, I need a lapis for that. Because I would like to change one of the sides into outputting power. Like this. Oh, okay, that's nice. And then I can put this here for now and then disable the rest of these things. I don't want them to get looped on the power source or something. So now, now that's done, I can do the things I want to do. So first things first, I'll need an auto hammer to hammer down the resources. So for example, if I get some cobblestone right here. And of course it requires power. Very good. And uh, yeah, you can see it's getting gravel, smashing down. And then we need an auto save, which oh I haven't made one yet. Oh yeah, I was waiting for glass. I forgot about that. So uh glass. Glass pain, good. And Let's see. Oh wait, I need more iron. I should have smelted a bit more iron then. In that case, I will just speed up the smelting. So it's here, 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 and here. And get more tiny charcoal, I guess. That should be fine. And honestly, I should make a better furnace. I know this there's a lot more furnace types, uh, raw spelling. There's your normal iron, not normal furnace, and then you can make iron furnaces, gold furnace, diamond furnace, emerald furnace, obsidian, uh, crystal, and then finally it's a netherite one, which is the most overpowered one. Basically, what and then no, I think the rainbow is, is the most most overpowered one. Basically, what it does that you as you upgrade it, you can like automate. Uh, like smelting processor without using any hoppers and stuff. So I guess I will at least, at least make one of them for now. So, well, I, I can just make another one. I'll just make another furnace. Make it into iron. And then make it into gold, diamond, and etc. So gold, diamonds, emeralds. Okay, I need eight of you, six of you. And seven of you. Right. Oh, of course, a block of gold, so. That should be fine. And there's our gold furnace, our diamond furnace, and finally, our emerald furnace. Which, if I put it here, you can see there's a lot more u different UIs. And now, if, if I open the convert, you can. Changing to redstone on off, uh, auto input or output, and then there's like different settings as well, which I think yeah there's a few inputs, and then the inputs on top, bottom is output, and then there's like a lot more different inputs we can do. So that is what I'm going to smelt my items with, and I realize I this is not a strong enough pickaxe for that. Uh, in that case, I shall get an iron pickaxe. It's about time we sh shall get an iron pickaxe. Beep. Hello. And I can throw this away. Good. There we go. There's our furnace. And let me put some stuff away for now. Uh, you. Where's all my dust at? Here, I guess. Some of glowstone, right? 
Yeah, so we've closed stone. And then the flag go over here. Oh yeah, I also made a time in the bottle. I didn't realize that that one is in the pack. So at least I can speed up things manually myself for now. So actually that's quite good. But at least now we can make our auto save right here. Ta-da! Auto save required. Slave labor. Well that kind of makes sense, right? As you can see, if we are processing it, and then next in line, we need the sieve. Of course, that requires power as well. So power goes here, and then I'll use item pipes to transfer item from one to another. So like this. Uh, oh, it requires a mesh. So in that case, I shall make a diamond mesh, I guess. So diamond mesh. I don't need gold, I need iron, I need flint. Actually, don't I have an extra mesh lying around? Uh, or did I throw them away? I may have. Oh well. I'll just make another one then. Nah, it's not a problem. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's our diamond mesh that is on the ready. And now, if I put the mesh in here, then you can see it's extracting the items from here to here. And then you can see all the resources have has been saved. And then now we just need to get the items out by ourselves into a chest of some sorts. Which of course there's also many different types of chests as well. If I press over here, a lot more different types of chests here. And of course, the maximum capacity is still the diamond one, which can store a lot more items for it. So yeah, but I think for now I would, I'm just going to make. Well, I guess I can make a that an iron chest for now. I do have enough iron for that. So iron chest, should I make a gold chest? I don't have enough gold for that. So I'll hold that off for a time being. So for now, iron chest right here. Get the extract the items, and the items will go here. So the only thing left to do is to automate, like, the compacting of the pieces, which I wonder is there a crafter that I can make? Yes, I can. I can use a crafter to craft that into pieces as well, and that is not annoying. That is not a very annoying process. So at least there's this production line going. So basically, I need a crafter. I will need another pipe right here. I know that it's going to get ugly, but well, it's going to do it's going to do its job right. So I don't really mind. So it will extract, go to crafter, and then I will need another one here again, and then it will be our furnace. So let me disable everything right now. So rice will be input, and then it requires a fuel source, which is going to come at the back. The back will be the fuel source, and the fuel source I'm going to, I think, do coal. Coal may be the best option. Should I? Well, I have a lot, I have a lot of wood though. I'll speed up for a bit. I shall get some charcoal on the way, and I will need to input it right here. Oh, it's here. Good. And then finally, output will be on the left. And that should do it. Of course, I need a crafter for that. And should I go for a tier 3 crafter? Should I? Mm. Well, I guess I can. It's not very expensive anyways. That. Yeah, that isn't expensive at all. I just need a bit of lapis again. And a bit of gold. A bit of gold. A bit of lapis. And the machine frame. And then we need some planks. That should do it. Oh, of course, I, we need resto. Uh, that means we need to sift even more resto. Okay, in that case, let me put some things away for now. 
uh, some useless stuff, I guess. Fuck you. And now I just need to sift up a bit more redstone. I'm guessing we need six more pieces, which is totally enough for now. So... That's here. And then... Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. Wonderful. Of course, this requires power as well. So, right here... Uh, move this back a bit. And then I need energy. Go right here. Wonderful. And it has power now. Wonderful. And now the only thing left to see is what kind of resources do we get. So I would get silver, nickel. Actually, let me sort my inventory out first. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, maybe there's not enough recipes. But it shouldn't be too hard. I just do it like this. And then you see it's saved. And then actually, I can just pull all the resources here for now. So remember the things here. And also block the things in this box right here as well. So if I take them away, if you locked, you can only put items right here. And yeah, external apply, good. And then, same with this, it will all go into external. Unfortunately, I think we have a lot more ore chunks than expected. So I'm guessing I may need another crafter though. Yeah, I think I need another one. I totally do need another one. Oop. So I shall do it like this then. Remember move it out good and then there'll be this 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 and this there'll be four missing so i need another one of these guys i need another crafter so or redstone which is totally doable which i have enough and more lapis please thank you and then, right here, oh, I need crafting tables. There we go. One, two, and three. Good. So I have another crafter ready on the go. I'll put it above here. So my pipes goes here as well. And this, of course, requires power. So right here. And then I shall get the recipes again. Here. 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 Good. I did not have anything. Yeah, good. And then the only thing left is like these things, which I do like to craft them into blocks because it will be stuck in the system for quite a bit. Or maybe I'll, I can just extract them out. Mm, should I? Yeah, I think I will just extract them out. So now I only need to do this again. Remember? Good. And in that case, I would like to test the system right now and good it stopped raining so if i press it like this it start compressing it it will start extracting it slowly but surely and then it is melting it wonderful and now the only thing left to do i wonder does it extract all the items out if i put the chest next to it uh let me test that though uh yeah 
I will just use an iron chest for that as well. If this does work, I can make more of them. Boop. No, it doesn't. Okay. That's good to know. So that means I need to do this and this again. And ta-da! Wonderful. And the only thing left to do now is to get charcoal up and running. So that shouldn't be too hard. I just need to do them. I will just put it there manually for now. Later on, I think I will put uh, coal in there if we get enough of that. But of course, I forgot that I need to put items in. So I need to get more item pipes. I will put it through right here. One, two, three, four. Five. Wow, I have exactly enough. I didn't expect that. But yeah, at least now we do have an automated system running. First, we get lava to produce power right here. And then we use the cobblestone, uh, go in the, into the auto hammerer, hammer it into gravel, and the gravel getting sift through the diamond mesh. Maybe I should get, yeah, I should get, just get an ammo mesh. Why not? I do have the resources for that, right? Yeah, totally. So, I'll just do that then. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but why not? So there we go, it's sifting stuff as well. And then after sifting, all the resources we collected right here, we place into this chest right here. And then, why is there gravel here? Okay, that's done. And then you can see, all of the different ore pieces will be separated to here and here. And then all of the ones that's crafted right here will be placed in here eventually. And then it will be smelting all the items. And then after all the items are smelted, it will be transported into here. And then this will be all of the ingots that I have so far. So that's very good. But this is only for the gravel one. I would like to make one for the dust as well. I'm not uh, too sure about sand though because Sand doesn't really give, like, literally anything though, right? Even if you go to the top tier, the only thing, well, I would say resource-wise useful is iron, prismatic shard, uh, prismatic crystals, and these... Um, yeah, I don't think I will, I will automate sand, like, sifting, but I do, I would do that for dust though, because we require redstone, and actually a lot of things. Oh, hello, you matter right here yeah you can see we can get redstone glowstone blaze powder these are i think the most important stuff is still glowstone and redstone dust these are the most important things that i want to get so i'm going to uh repeat this process again and i need to make um three more auto hammers for that because you need to hammer it cobblestone into gravel gravel into sand sand into dust and then you can just go through this whole process again well, at least I don't think we will need uh, the crafted stone, so, and also a smeltery, and maybe I should get a few more furnaces, by the way. But I can see that we are smelting things a lot more quicker than this is using up. So that is quite nice, and maybe I shouldn't use charcoal. Maybe, well, we don't really know, and we aren't really sure. But yeah, we have automated resource production, even though it's not very compact, but it, do, it does work, and you need to know this is still a very early game. We don't have too many resources, so this will work quite fine for now. So that's very good. So yeah, between episodes, I will make more of these for gravel. Nah, yeah, gravel, mm, I don't think I will expand this, to be honest. Maybe I'll just extract all these items into like drawers and stuff. Drawers and stuff. Or maybe, yes, maybe we can start to refine story system. Maybe. I don't I don't know what is the resource for that though. Refine story system. And we need quartz. And quartz, how do you get that? Oh sifting netherrack. Okay. That isn't very hard though. We can very easily do that. So yeah, maybe next time. But yeah, I do want to get a sourcing system up running so that we can get things easier and we can progress through like one of the more difficult like stuff and things as you can see before the end game stuff is like very very brutal and no one does it like that and that requires a lot of resources as well so yeah for now thank you for watching
And if you enjoy my episode or enjoy this series, you can consider subscribing or like the video. And yeah, so for now, goodbye. Bye.